Series, and it's exciting today, tonight we have Max from Nirvana, and How's it going, uh, guys? It, you know he's an old school OG. We go back like six or seven years. It's my pleasure and my honor to introduce him out there to the social equity community, and uh, let's just get started. Max, tell us about yourself. How'd you get into the industry? Yeah, guys, so my name is Max Shell. Uh, I've been working for Nirvana Center for about four years now. Um, I actually got into the industry right when I turned 21. Um, I pretty much got into the industry from trying to educate myself on cannabis, um, attending expos and seminars where you know I was trying to network and get my foot in the door. Um, and yeah, I just tried to network and you know gather connections over the years. And once I turned 21, then I just kind of got myself into the industry. So when did you turn 21? What year was that? That was, um, let's see, um, that was four years ago. So, yeah, um, what is that? Known, it feels if I've known you forever. I, yeah, I know. It seems like forever ago. I don't know why. <laughs> I know. And you're one of like the OGs. I mean, you're like a go-to guy. Um, so tell us about uh, the organizations that you've worked for and uh, tell us about the journey that you've been on. Yeah, so I've really only worked for Nirvana Center in the cannabis industry, um, working with them for about the last four years. I just I did start off as a butt tender, and then um, within about a year, I kind of transitioned more into the marketing field as we started to open up more locations here. Um, so yeah, you know, been working for four years, about three years in marketing here. Um, we have two people on our marketing team that you know we're all kind of collaborative, and we handle all five of the Arizona locations here. And, and so tell us a little bit about Nirvana Center and you guys are dispensaries, uh, manufacturing, cultivation. What is what is Nirvana uh, Center, the organization? So yeah, we are a dispensary. Um, we are a multi-state operator as well. So we're in other states like Michigan and Maryland um, and opening in other states here soon. Uh, we do have a cultivation or actually two cultivations here in Arizona, um, as well as a kitchen and an extraction lab um, where we produce all of our in-house products. Um, outside of that, we do carry um, a lot of other various cannabis brands and products, you know, all of the top quality brands here in Arizona, you know, we usually carry. Um, so, you know, really when you walk into any Nirvana Center, you're going to find a lot of variety um, paired with good sales and a great experience every time. Um, we are very patient focused and making sure that our butt tenders are fully educated on all of the products we carry in store um, so that they're really able to guide the patients into their proper direction for their transactional um, experience with us you know and you know we appreciate nirvana center we just did a interview with the mint and uh for the organization to make individuals like yourself uh accessible to the social equity community the uh, licensed applicants and those professionals that want to transition in over the years is it, very appreciated so i always i always tell people to support uh those organizations that understand the important mission that we have happening in in cannabis so thank you very much for your time and, and for being here. Um, is, the, is the, except for making yourself accessible, is the Nirvana doing anything special? Are you guys doing some expungement clinics or anything else uh, for social equity applicants? Uh, nothing, n n that's um, something I'll kind of have to talk with owners on, but I know that they're definitely interested in something that we haven't tackled quite yet, but you know, a field that we're gonna be looking into for sure. I know, that, that's fantastic. And uh, as a mentor, people could be reaching out to you for help and guidance, uh, learning about how to get in the industry, learning about application process. Uh, I, I, I left out, a, a, like I said, learning about application process. I left out like the, the uh, what is that word? Like learning about the application process, rather than say learning about an application, sorry. Conjunction, conjunction. I left oh, out a conjunction. That's <laughs> weird. Um, yeah, so, uh, so, so yeah, so you never know who's going to be reaching out to you, but it's very important that people have a point of contact within organizations so they know who to reach out to in regards to social equity stuff. So what advice would you have for social equity applicants or licensees, uh, license, uh, potential license, people seeking licenses uh, at this point in juncture? I mean, I would really say just getting um, a solid a solid understanding of like the business model and just how to really run a cannabis operation here in the state. You know, um, there's just a lot of different variables and, and uh, you know, just kind of having an understanding also like of, of, you know, the different cannabis products and kind of how you can really, you know, drive traffic into your store. You know, once you do decide to launch like a retail operation and, you know, get all of your branding down, you know, um, you know, take all of the steps necessary to do it right and to make sure that, 
you know, you are going to be drawing patients in because um, it is, you know, a very saturated market here. And, you know, you want to find ways to really stand out in the cannabis space. Yeah, no, that, that that's some really good advice. You, when you were 21, what were you doing when you were 20? What were you doing? Were you in college or how did you end up in cannabis? What were you doing uh, before that? So I was coaching tennis, actually. Yeah, that's I was doing that pretty full time. Um, and I always had a passion for cannabis. You know, I've always used, um, you know, cannabis for multiple ailments and, you know, things like anxiety is, and, you know, sleep and this, as well as recovery too, because I was playing tennis pretty competitively. So it would help out a lot with that. And, you know, it's really steered me away from all like the pharmaceuticals and synthetic, you know, things that are out there in the world. And I wanted to stay with something that was natural and something that made me feel good, you know, and cannabis has always done that for me. And I've, I've always been very passionate about it. Um, so yeah, you know, up until I turned 21, I was pretty much just educating myself on cannabis consumption methods. I was actually really interested in cultivation at the time. Um, but then it kind of transitioned me into working more of like the, you know, the retail space and getting more into marketing, which I've really been loving lately. Um, so yeah, it's definitely been quite the journey, man. A lot of growth in the industry here and it's going to continue growing. And are you from Arizona? Where are you from originally? I was born in California, but I was raised here my whole life pretty much. Where'd you go to high school? Estrella Foothills High School in Goodyear, Arizona. Nice, nice, nice. We always try to make those points of contacts, points of reference, so people can know a little bit about more who you are and, and why they should reach out to you. Well, that's fantastic. What is the best way for uh, individuals to reach out to yourself so uh, to find out more information about Nirvana uh, or other uh, aspects of the industry? Yeah, you can feel free to send me a direct email just to max at nirvanacenter.com, and I'm usually pretty responsive on that. Excellent. Well, thank you, Max. Uh, we really appreciate this. Uh, the, the, we're very happy to introduce uh, individuals like yourself. Uh, we've specifically picked individuals like yourself who have that in-depth level of expertise, the one, two, threes, the ABCs, you know, we're trying to avoid the lawyers because they're, you know, I'm just, I, 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 I used to be a lawyer, but uh, uh, I haven't been in the field like you guys have for like four years. Um, so it's really helpful to introduce individuals like yourself who actually know the nuances of the industry and who people can reach out to for help uh, during the application process or after they win their licenses or just in general as a future colleague. So we thank you for participating. And uh, did I get all the questions? Excellent. Uh, thank you, Max, very much. And if you have anybody else who you recommend who wants to, their name to be out there and wants to be in public uh, that wants to help uh, social equity applicants, you know, just let us know. Uh, love to introduce them to the world in general. Cool. Yeah, that sounds great, Dimitri. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And, you know, we'll continue to be working together throughout the years, man, for sure. Yeah, and excellent. And, and folks, uh, a lot of the social equity people are wandering through Mita, and uh, Max is always there. And even if you don't win in December and you decide to use all the information that you've gathered to figure out a new path into the industry, talk to a guy like Max. He's the guy to know. Exactly. My line's always open for you guys. So thank you very, very much. Thank you, Max. All right, guys. Have a great day.